Hey there everyone, Taish here back again with another video and in today's video I want to talk about something really really special. I want to talk about things that usually programmers are never going to tell you. Now don't get me wrong here, these are not kind of a thing which programmers are trying to hide from you. No, programming community is never like that, it's more over like a giving community. The reason why I'm saying that these things are never going to be discussed with you by an experienced programmer because eventually when you work for like let's just say 10 years or 12 years you actually get these stuff so easily inside you that you forget to discuss them with the new beginners and when a new beginner come into the life cycle of programming and coding and all these community he just get into a lot of myths by just seeing you so if you're a beginner in programming this is a must watch video for you now let me start this video by saying that when you see any programmer on youtube or any in a conference or webinars or seminars in offline anywhere any places you just see that a programmer is like a genius person who comes out and start writing code and just is always perfect but that is absolutely far away from the truth. It never happens. When you see any programmer who is writing these flawless code, there is a lot of things that going on behind. Especially if that is on camera, that means the person has rehearsed those codes uh, probably two or three times and probably he has rehearsed these codes over a year of decade, like 10 years or 12 years. This is the experience that is talking and that is uh, that you are seeing as a flawless person. This is not a day one code. On the day one code, all the programmers sucks equally bad that you are doing right now. When I show you this, this chart here, what you see here is programming. And whenever I flip this out around, you always see something like this, writing code. And people usually think that programming is all about just writing code. And this is far from the truth. This is not at all how the programming actually works. Programming is more about this chart here. Now at when you look from a very far side It looks like there are just only three columns up here, but let me explain you these are not just three There are actually four constant variables whenever you want to learn programming You always should think about these four variables this first green part is all about writing code So yes majority of programming whatever you are learning is about writing code It doesn't matter whether you want to learn JavaScript or Python or Ruby or C Whatever that is, its majority is, of course, yes, writing the code part. But you can also see that this majority of the orange part is also a part of programming. And this is, my dear friend, the debugging part, which usually you don't see people doing around. Because doing debugging is not at all fun. So usually in the programming videos and all the courses and seminars, you don't see people doing it. But this is actually a major part of the programming as well. So you'll be spending a lot of time in writing code as well as a lot, of pro a lot of time in debugging your code. That means resolving errors. And this is the most crucial thing that you always should remember. No matter how good you become in programming, you are never going to write absolute perfect code. Problems are going to come and we need to learn how to resolve them. That's a big part of programming. And there is this yellow part as well, which is denoted by searching. So it's not like that we can just look at the code, stare it for like probably hours or two hours, and it's going to automatically resolve the stuff. Probably renaming the variable. No, this is not how things are done. The reason why we give uttermost respect to the websites like Stack Overflow is because we do most of our searching there. And instead, not only these websites, we do a lot of searching on Google as well regarding our errors, bugs, how to resolve them, sometimes even do search onto the GitHub repositories as well. So again, make sure you understand that programming is not just about writing code. It's a combination of writing code, debugging things, and most importantly, the searching part. But in order to understand where is that fourth variable, I need to show you that chart on the screen in the PNG format and not just this printouts. So the final part is subscribe and I know this sounds a little bit cheesy that you are asking to subscribe. Yes, technically I am, but I'm not saying that just to subscribe to my channel. One of the core aspect of this programming entire is to build community and we always are friends into these communities. So I'm asking you is to buy the word subscribe. I simply mean that you should stay in the community no matter what the resources are through the WhatsApp group, through the college group or maybe through hitting the subscribe onto the channels where you watch a lot of programming video. So it's all about being in the community. The word subscribe simply means subscribe to all the communities and posts who are doing something or anything for the programming and stay connected in there. So my request to all of you is hit the subscribe button on this channel and not only on this channel to all the resources and all the friends and all the programming mentors that you can find around and stay connected with there.
So next time when you start writing any code, just expect that you always are gonna need these four variables. Just writing code is not at all programming. These four variables are always gonna be an accountant. Now, if you agree with my point of view, I highly recommend you to write down in the comment section that programming is a lot more than writing code. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you share this video in your WhatsApp group and your friends as well so that they can also know that when they start programming, these are the inside tips that they should always keep in mind. This video can be really helpful for your juniors, for your seniors, or anybody who is trying to get started in programming. So share it with your friends as well. Put down that in the comment section and make sure you hit that subscribe button to this channel and I'm gonna surely catch you up in the next video. Vamos un, dos, tres, sin estrés Muéstrame sus pasos, te cuento hasta diez y ven Yo sé que tú quieres moverlo sin pena hacer.